we know the patients with the mutation will get the disease by the age of approximately 50. This allows us to treat them before they show any signs of cognitive decline and to compare patients treated and untreated to see if we can prevent the disease. This is a very unique set of patients. So Banner formed an international consortium of Alzheimer's physicians and researchers and looked at over 20 different programs that are in development for treating Alzheimer's disease and picked what they thought would be the best and most appropriate molecule to conduct the study on this group of patients in Colombia, which is a, a very rare human resource. The impact of this genetic condition on the families in Colombia is profound. As I mentioned, it's a dominant mutation, so imagine a uh, husband and wife, and let's say the husband has one copy of the gene, and they've had four children. The husband will likely pass away from the disease, but one, uh, at least one out of four of the children are likely to have the disease. Now, the, the wife um, did not have the gene, so will live a, a normal life, but will likely end up taking care of her child with Alzheimer's disease. So it's actually just the reverse of what happens in a sporadic case where children end up taking care of their elderly parents with the disease. Here, you have parents taking care of their children with the disease, which has just devastated uh, parts of the community. This study offers us the possibility to investigate the prevention of Alzheimer's disease very early in the course of the disease, and if positive, may pave the way to preventing Alzheimer's disease in other folks as well.